Mosquitoes are the most annoying, dangerous, and persistent blood-sucking pests on Earth. They are insect terrorists responsible for millions of deaths around the world every year, from diseases such as dengue, malaria, and yellow fever. And when outside is hot especially, they are always on the hunt. But have you ever wondered why it is that some people get bitten by mosquitoes more than others? Well, that's the question I'm going to answer today. Why are you a mosquito magnet? Keep watching and find out. Now, first of all, why do mosquitoes even bite us? Well, it's the female mosquitoes that are the culprits. They're the ones seeking out our blood. It's not that they're out to get us and just annoy us. They really need the blood to get protein nourishment to make their eggs. Now, a typical mosquito life cycle is about two weeks. So once the eggs are laid, usually on stagnant water, they would hatch into larva, which develop into the pupa that would mature to form the flying adult mosquito. So, once that mosquito is an adult, and it's a female, it will be on the hunt for blood throughout the day. Now, when are mosquitoes the most active? That's a common question also asked. Peak mosquito biting hours would usually vary depending on the species. So for instance, they say that the Aedes aegypti mosquito, this is the one responsible for spreading dengue, zika, chikungunya, they tend to be more active around the morning, late afternoon. And then the Anopheles mosquito responsible for spreading malaria would be more active at dusk, night, and dawn. So it really depends on the species. But although mosquitoes may tend to like heat and come out when outside is warm, they are not a fan of too much sun for fear of dehydration and probably dying. So that is why you would tend to hear that most mosquitoes would come out when it's cooler outside. So around dusk, going into nighttime, and then early morning. Now when a mosquito is ready for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, it will use its pointy mouth part, officially known as the proboscis, to inject saliva and draw its blood meal from you. Now this saliva is important because it contains anticoagulant, which will stop the blood clotting. For sure the mosquito doesn't want your blood to, to clot. That would affect their ability to draw the blood. Now if the mosquito is carrying a virus or a parasite, if it's present in the mosquito saliva, it can be transferred to your blood. So that is when you can have possibly an infection, whether it's dengue, malaria, zika, whatever the case is. Now, when most people get bitten by mosquitoes, they usually get swollen bumps, experience redness around these bumps and itchiness, because these are the effects that are caused by an inflammatory response to the proteins in the mosquito's saliva. Okay, let's get to the real meat of the matter. The question we all ask, especially if you find yourself hanging with others, but you always seem to be the prime target for mosquitoes. So what exactly attracts mosquitoes to you? Mosquitoes usually detect certain chemicals and attractants through their antenna that will cause them to launch an attack. And there are four main factors that will determine if you are at a higher risk of getting bitten. Now the first factor is exhaled carbon dioxide. This is one of the main attractants to mosquitoes. When we exhale, the mosquitoes somehow enjoy this gas and they come and bite you. Now, the second factor is high temperature or warm skin. Now, this is going to help mosquitoes find out where exactly to bite you. So, an area where the body has the blood like close to the surface of the skin, those are the typical points where the mosquito would be looking to bite. So, say for instance, your forehead, your wrists, elbows, neck, those are areas where you have the blood rushing closer to the surface of the skin. So it's easier for the mosquitoes to put in their needle and suck out blood, blood that's closer to the surface of the skin. Now, these two factors, heat and exhaled carbon dioxide, can explain why there are certain factors that would make one at a higher risk to get in bite. So for instance, exercise and sweating. When you exercise, you're going to release a lot of carbon dioxide, and of course your body is going to increase in the temperature and also cause you to sweat. Secondly, obesity. When you're obese, you have excess body weight and therefore higher body temperature, and you will tend to have a greater carbon dioxide output as well. Also, pregnant women are known to have warmer abdomens and also produce more carbon dioxide. 
And if you're into drinking, you may want to be careful because drinking alcohol actually increases your metabolic rate and causes your body temperature to increase and therefore you also have an increase in production of carbon dioxide so more of that carbon dioxide is exhaled. Now another factor is blood type. This is the third factor. Now out of all four blood types, you know we have A, B, AB and O, blood type O seems to be the most appealing to mosquitoes for whatever reason. They somehow like the smell coming from the skin of those who have this type of blood. So unfortunately, although we know that blood type O is the universal blood donor, when it comes to mosquitoes, they are the prime recipients of this type of blood. Now aside from blood type, there are also other genetic influences that can attract mosquitoes to you. For instance, some people tend to produce a little more lactic acid or uric acid in their sweat, so that can also attract mosquitoes to them. Now the final fact I'm going to look at is dark clothing. So we all know that wearing dark clothing is a no-no at night when you're walking the streets especially, but dark clothing can actually put you at a higher risk of getting bitten because this type of clothing makes you more noticeable to mosquitoes. They can spot you better, especially if you're outdoors during the day in the fields. So you're pretty much an easier target when you're wearing dark clothing. So now that you have a better idea of what makes you more attractive to mosquitoes, it's important to protect yourself from getting bitten. It's best to wear light colored clothing and of course long sleeve, long pants, anything that will cover up your skin when you're outside. I mean, I know it's kind of difficult to think that you will have to wear long sleeves in this hot weather, but you're trying to protect yourself from these terrorists. And also apply insect repellent. And then you can use insect screens on your windows at home. And of course, get rid of all stagnant water. After all, this is where the mosquitoes are breeding. So you need to remove them. So think of it. If you are a pregnant woman with blood type O and outside exercising in dark clothing, my goodness, you are going to be the greatest mosquito magnet ever. So you gotta be extra careful. If you found this video helpful, feel free to subscribe, like, and share. And don't forget to hit that notification bell.